What's up guys? Today I'm going to walk you note by note through that entire cover of Despacito that I just played for you there. We've got five guitar parts to learn in this song. And today we're starting the five minute guitar challenge. If you upload a cover of you playing this song and link it in the comment section below, we're going to pick a winner and they're going to get to get a tab of their choice from any of our videos. You can get the tab as well as backing track, slow playthrough and MP3 downloads for this song in the link in the description below this video. And finally, you can get a free preview to my complete Mastering the Guitar program in the link in the description below this video. So put your capo on the fourth fret of your guitar and let's get started. Okay, let's get started with the first part, which is going to be the intro. We got a capo on our fourth fret, and in these tutorials, like all of my fingerstyle ones, I'm going to use the notation of E, A, D, G, B, and E, and then the fret number relative to the capo to reference which fret I'm on. So this would be E3, third fret of the E string, and then this would be A2, second fret of the A string. It might be a little bit confusing at first if you've never seen this, but I promise it will be easier once you get used to it. So with that, we're gonna start with a little bit of a bar chord on the second fret of the top three strings. And then your third finger on D4, so the D string fourth fret. And we're gonna do this. So that first note is the D string and the E string. And then you're just doing a little run. Then you're gonna switch to a standard D chord and then do the same thing. First note is on the D and the E string. And then you just do your downward run. Then moving on, we've got a partial A chord. So it's just gonna be second finger on B2 and first finger on G2. And then do the same thing, except this time your first note is the A string and the E string. And then you're gonna end that part with your first finger on G1, second finger on D2 and then you're gonna arpeggiate or strum quickly on E, D, G, and B. Or if you find that tough, you can just pick it. So that's the first part. Together it's gonna to sound like this. Okay, then we're gonna move into the classic Desposito intro riff. And this part is a little bit tougher than the rest of the song, but this part is an intro, and if you play it a little bit slower than you'd play the rest of the song, it'll still sound good and it'll add some emotion to it. So if you can't play this one as fast, don't worry, just play it slower than the rest of the song. And then when you change speeds, it'll actually add an element of intrigue to the song you're playing. So with that said, we're gonna start and we're gonna grab that same first chord that we played in the first part, which was the bar on the second fret, and then D4. And you're gonna do another little arpeggiation, which is just playing each of the strings individually quickly. Or if that's tough, you can just play them all at once. And then this next part here is going to be so what you're doing here is you're starting on the pinky on E5, and then you go 5, 4, 2, 1, 2. And there's a few ways to do this. The best way is to actually use pull-offs for the first three notes. 
and then slide down to the first fret and back to the second. To get those pull-offs, you just take your finger and you flick it downward a little bit as you remove it so that the next note stays strum without actually picking with your right hand. So I'd do here as I'd pick. And that one's a little bit tricky, so try it out. If you can't do that, then you can just pick it individually with the right hand. Or the last way to do it is pick the first three notes and then do the slide. So there's a few ways to do that. Try whichever one you're comfortable with. Don't worry too much if you can't get one way. Just try it the easier way and keep progressing through the song. So that part is... So then moving on, you're going to have another arpeggiation of that main chord we've been playing. Then your third finger on the E string, and it's going to go four, five, seven, nine. And then you're going to alternate between that and the pinky on, and then you're going to alternate between that and the pinky on B10. So that part is. And then to end that off, you're going to go a little bit of a slide with your third finger on the G string to G6. And then you're going to go G6, E5 with your second finger, and then slide again, G4, and then pinky on E4. That's a little bit confusing, but replay the instructions if you need to, and then all together it's going to sound like this. And practice that one. That's almost kind of like a mini guitar solo there. And just play it at whatever speed you can play comfortably at, even if it's a different speed than the rest of the song. As I said before, sometimes a change of pace actually adds more emotion to your playing. Then moving on to the next section, which is verse one, if you're following along with the tabs from our Patreon, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, let's break that down. So your first note is gonna be E2. And then you're gonna put your third finger on D4 and use this first finger to bar the G and B strings. And then you're gonna play D, G, and B in one chord. So, and then you're gonna release it to give it that quick punchy feel. If you find that tough, you can take the second finger and actually lay it on top of your first finger to give you a little bit more force in that bar chord. So then you're gonna move your first finger to where your third finger was on D4, and then you're gonna play that, and then G6 and pinky on B7. Then you're gonna move up to first finger on E4 and do E4, five, seven, five, four, then pinky down to B7, and then second finger on B5. So there's a little bit of a run there. So that first bar. So then the next bar is gonna sound like this. So 
So we're doing a chord shape here and just holding it. It's gonna be first finger on E5, pinky on B7, and third finger on G7. And then you're gonna start and play, I'll, I'll explain the strings that you're gonna play with your right hand. So you're gonna start with D and G, then B and E, and then D, and then G, B, and E, and then G and B, back to D, and then end again on G and B. So that's a little bit confusing, but just watch this a few times if you need to to figure it out. And one quick tip if you're ever learning stuff on YouTube is if you're finding it going too fast, you can just click on the little settings icon on the bottom corner of the screen and change the playback speed to about 0.75 and that'll make it easier to follow along because it'll play it a little slower. But again, that bar is... So with the first bar... Then you're going to switch your chord shape again, moving to this next bar, and it's going to be bar your first finger on the fifth fret of the B and E, and then second finger on G6, and then third finger on D7. So then your pattern here is going to be A and E, then B and G. E, D and B, back to E, A, G and B, E, then take this chord shape off, put your pinky on E7, and then first finger on E4. So watch that a few times if you need to figure out the rhythm, but it's going to sound like this. Then moving into the last bar of the verse, we've got this. So this one's really easy. Your chord is going to be second finger on B5, first finger on G4, and third finger on D6. And all you're going to do here is alternate between the open E string and then this chord. The first two times it's going to be E and then G and B. So just these two. And then the second two are going to be E, 2, D, G, and B. So all three of them. So that bar slowly is... And that's the verse. So all together it sounds like this. And you can hear there that I played those four bars twice because the verse is those four bars repeated. So you learn the first four and then just play it a second time. And there you go, you've got the entire verse right there. All right, so let's move into the next section which is gonna be the chorus if you're following along with the tab. So it's going to start, the first bar is going to sound like this. C, 
So you're going to start on our same favorite chord that we've been using this whole song, which is actually an F sharp minor for anyone who cares, but uh, it's going to be that bar on the second fret and then a third finger on D4. And you're going to do D and E, then G and B, then B twice, and then A, G, and B. So... Then you're going to take that bar off and keep your first finger on E2 and keep that third finger on D4 and play those two. Then while holding this D4 so you get that ringing out bass note, you're going to do... So that's alternating 2, 0, 2 and do a pull off on that 0 if you can. If you can't, then don't bother, you can just pick each note individually. And then you're going to play A0 and E0. And then hammer on to E2 if you can. If you can't, you can just pick it. Either way works. So that part of the bar is... And that whole bar again is... Then continuing on. So this next bar, our chord shape to start off is gonna be second finger on B3 and first finger on G2. And then you're gonna play D0, then G and B, then B twice. Then put that third finger back to D4 and play all three. So, then you're going to take those off, first finger on E2, and play D and E. Second finger goes to B3, and then you're going to play those two, and then pull off to E0 if you can, if you can't pick it, and then go back to E2. So, just like that first bar. And the rhythm is the same, so you could follow the same rhythm for both bars. The notes are just a little bit different. Then you're going to keep your second finger in its place and add your pinky to E5. And then you're going to play the D, B, and E strings. And then end the bar by playing E5. So this bar all together is going to follow the exact same rhythm as the first bar, just slightly different notes. And together it sounds like this. So then you add that to the first bar, and so far we've got this. And now we move into the next bar of the chorus, and we're starting with that A0. Then put your first and second finger on G2 and B2. Then play the top three strings. Then follow the same kind of rhythm again as the last two bars. You're going to open with E0 twice. Then play these three strings a second time. Then move this first finger to B2, and your pinky to E5, then you're going to play the A, B, and E strings, then just play B and E, and then pull off, if you can, with this pinky to the 4th fret. That one's a little tricky because the pinky is really weak and it's hard to pull off with, so many of you may just want to play that twice. Either way is fine, 
but then you can put your pinky back on and play that string again, and then put this second finger down on B3, play these two, and slide straight up to the seventh and fifth frets there. And then you're gonna play E7 again. So that bar together is And then you're going to end this part of the chorus with a bar chord on the fourth fret of these three strings, then your second finger on B5, and then play the open E string, and then these three. Then do that again. Then add your third finger on to E5 and take off this bar, and then play E, B, and E strings and then take off your third finger, put on your first finger, and play those two. Add that to the full chorus so far, and we've got this. Then that's going to be the first run through of the chorus, and we're going to do two run throughs of this chorus. The second time, the first three bars are going to be exact same, and the fourth bar is all that's going to be different. So here are the first three bars. So that's the first three bars, and we're going to end this almost the exact same way as the first time. This time we're just going to start with this again. And then you're going to end with open E, and then a thumb slap on the side of the sixth string there. And that's the end of the chorus. So all together, both run-throughs are going to sound like this. Okay, so now moving into the next section, which is the post-chorus, if you're following along with the tabs, it's going to sound like this. That's the first bar right there. So this one, we're gonna play it, as you heard, really staccato, which just means choppy with really quick notes that aren't held out to give you a nice punchy feel to this. Now starting off with the first note, we're gonna have a big stretch here, first finger on E2, and then your pinky all the way on the other E5. You're gonna play those two, and then you're gonna do a pull off with your pinky to E4 
Or again, like always, you can pick them individually if the pull off's too tough. So you're gonna do that. Then you're gonna move this first finger all the way over to B2 and do the same thing, except this time picking these two strings. And then go back to there. So. Then take off the pinky and play E and B strings. Then back to E5. Then move this first finger back down and play that E2 again. So you've got. Then you're gonna move this finger back up to B2 and then play these two again. Pull off, then back. And then end this bar by keeping that pinky in place and bring that up to the seventh fret and then putting your first finger on D4. And then taking that off and playing D0. So together. So that's the first bar. And so we want to play that as you can hear it nice and choppy and staccato. So it gives it a really punchy feel. And then here's where the fun part's going to come in. In this next bar, now we're going to switch to smooth, also called legato, which is where we're letting everything ring out as long as we can. So that's going to give it a big contrast from that first bar and make your playing just a lot more interesting. So you're going to start and play where you just ended with that D zero and then put on Second finger on B3, first finger on G2, and then play the top three strings. Then play the D, G, and B string. Then B, G and B, B twice. Then, then D and E, and then back to B. So this bar is So then adding that with that first bar, you'll be able to see what I mean by this contrast of the sharp, punchy, and the smooth. You can hear how you've got that contrast there, which just makes everything a little more interesting. So then moving into this next bar, we're gonna start with A0, and then you can either bar the second fret of the D, G, and B string, or just play a standard A chord, whichever one you find easier. I like to bar it personally, but then you're gonna play. So A, B, then G and D. Then A, all three of these. Then A and B. B. All three, B, B, put this finger on to B3, then back to just B, B2. So that bar is. And then the fourth bar of this chorus chorus is gonna sound like this. So this one here, you've got E zero, then B zero, and then you've got this chord shape here, first finger on G one, second finger on D two, play those two, back to E, 
then play the D, G, and B string. Back to open E. D, B, D, G, D. Then second, third finger on the left hand goes to G2 and end off with that. So. So then you've got that. Those are the four bars of the post chorus. All together, it's going to sound like this. That's the first run through. The second run through of the post chorus, just like the chorus, is going to have the exact same first three bars. And then the only difference here is that last bar. So the last bar is going to change up here to sound like this. And that's going to transition us into verse two. So. That one has the exact same first few notes. Then you're going to end this off with your second finger on G2. Play that twice. Pinky on D4. Then play G2 three times. Then to G1. So... Whole bar is. So that's the entire post chorus. You're playing that bar on the second run through and the first variation, which is this one. On the first time. So then that said, all together, here's your full post chorus. And with that, we move into the final section we need to play this entire song, verse 2. You're almost there, guys. Just stick with me a little bit longer and you'll be able to play this entire thing. So the first bar of that is going to sound like this. So this one, as you can hear, is just a few repeated notes. We've got that first lead-in section that we just learned from the post-chorus. We've already learned that. Then we're going to do this little lick here, which is starting on second finger on G2, and then you're going to pull off or pick to first finger on G1. Then put your pinky on D4. Then play A0. Then move your second finger back to G2 and play that four times and then do that little lick again. Then you do that one more time. So that full first bar. Then 
Uh, moving into the second bar, we've got this. So for here, you're going to start and play D0, and then do that lick one more time. Then play D0 again. Then play B0 three times. Then down to G2. So what we've got up to this point is... Then moving to the next bar, we're going to keep that second finger on G2 and play the G and B strings three times. And then stop them, and then play them another three times. And then you're going to play, and then you're going to put your third finger on B2. And then you can take that finger off, put your first finger on D2, and then play A, D, and G strings twice. And make sure to stop them afterwards. Then you're going to do B0 three times, then down to G2. So that bar is... Then moving to the next bar, you're going to play B0 three times. Then third finger on E4. Then B0 three times. B2. Then put your first finger on D2, second finger on G2. And then you're going to play this time E, D, and G strings. Then back up to B0 three times. G2, and then to end off this section, you're going to go up to here, which is the same chords we've seen in the end of the chorus, and it's going to be E0, then B5, and E5, played in one chord. And then take your pinky off, put your second finger on E4, and play those two. Okay, so that's the second half of verse 2, and that together sounds like this. And that there is the entirety of verse 2. So all together, it sounds like this. Right there is the end of the final part you need to play this whole song. So now we've been over everything. Now the actual way you're going to play this, if you want to play the whole thing as I've played it in the start there, is you're going to start with the intro, and then you're going to move to the first verse, then you're going to play chorus, post-chorus, then verse 2, chorus, and end with the post-chorus. And if you play all those parts in that order, that's the entire song. The only thing we haven't gone over is the very last chord, which is going to be an F sharp minor. And we're going to play either just these three strings barred on the top three, or bar the whole thing and play E2 and then these top three strings. And if you play that at the very end of the song, after the second post-chorus, then that'll sound really nice, and you'll end off the entire song.